I'm at Uvic waiting to catch my connecting bus to go to Uplands. Here I am in Uplands. So I came out here to try and get a little fall color. Uh, we still have leaves on our trees. It's late October and it's a beautiful day. And I'm trying to get a little local color just for autumn. Oh, I see some lovely deer over there. Anyway, what a beautiful day. I figured I'm wearing a mask most of the time, so does it really matter what color my lipstick is? Not really. So, Apart from today's um, local autumn color, I had a bit of a situation uh, regarding the deer in our yard. We have deer that come in the yard, whoa, sunshine, um, quite often. Same families of deer. And you get to know them because this one mother deer has had babies in the yard and given birth and raised her young. And the same mother who has had three fawns. And I think I talked about this on camera once. So I go out in the yard the other day and she has got um, a broken leg, her back leg, and it is dangling like on a tendon and I was horrified she's not making any noise she's hopping around she's still cleaning her babies she's still eating um, she doesn't seem like she's in pain but you can't walk around with a dangling leg and not be in pain and the bone was sticking out it was a compound fracture so I was very horrified and because I'm super empathic it was hard for me to witness this. Her babies were with her, even her sister and her sister's baby were with her. Whoa, whoops. <laughs> Alright, didn't, didn't mean to lose you there. Um, it's probably helping, uh, helping out babysitting or something and yeah she was walking around with a dangling leg so I I phoned around I phoned a wildlife refuge that I used to work at nobody was answering their phone I phoned the SBCA nobody was answering their phone I finally found phoned animal control and um, I told them the situation and I told them I didn't want her put down because she was still getting along and they told me that they can't do anything for her that as long as she's not laying on the ground um, screaming in pain that they can't do a thing uh, She's got babies. Yes, she's got babies. Do they have spots? No, they're older. Okay, so we won't take the babies. But the only thing they could do, and this is only if she's lying on the ground in pain, is to euthanize her. And she's not in noticeable pain. So I pretty much can't do a thing. 
And I tell you, you feel so helpless when you see a friend that you've seen for years with a dangling leg. And the best I can do is pray, which is important for, if you're spiritual, it's important. I got two of my other friends who are in the same path as I, and we prayed. And I can't do much more than that, but it sure is not fun to see. And I really hope something happens, whether the leg, the foot shrivels up and falls off or something, because I have no idea how a leg can heal when the bone is sticking out and I really hope she doesn't get it infected. So, as you see, my mind's all over the place. But I had to get out today and take some beautiful scenery because I have no idea how long this is going to last before all the leaves leave. Leaves leave. <laughs> so, that is what I'm gonna do. So, I hope I can get enough footage to give you a beautiful uh, view, and that's what I'm going to do. Okay. You know, I would love to jump in that pile of leaves. But I'm not gonna. There could be dog poop in there. Watch out, deer. I hate it when the deer get on the road. There's a beautiful buck. He's got two girls in his little harem. And... I'm making sure to keep away from him because, oh, look at this, because, uh, see, he's trying to get to them. Yeah, there's deer all over my city, and they're pretty much suburban deer. <laughs> there's a beautiful male, three females. And, uh, yeah, they gather little harems in the autumn when they're in the rut and see how many they can mate with. He's sniffing the air. I don't know if he's smelling a deer's, uh, a doe's urine or what. He's a beautiful boy. A little beautiful boy. Don't you worry, I'm not going to do anything. I respect your horns. Yeah. Yeah. Just beautiful. Right in the middle. Well, near the middle of uplands. We have a bunch of deer. But you know, they're pretty smart because, you know, with with all the um people that hunt deer, wouldn't you want to go into the area where they can't discharge a weapon? Pretty smart. Look how muscular he is. He's just a big boy. I hope you can see this well. It's such a beautiful scene. Like the grass all dappled. That's autumn. I have to be home in time to watch the to watch the debate tonight, the American Joe Biden against uh, President Trump. And uh, I'm Canadian. So what are we so? interested in American politics? Well, a lot of people are because 
it's uh, quite the <laughs> it's quite the uh, the train wreck our politics right now are so staid and kind of boring because nobody's really being an out and out goon so <laughs> and I tell you I have American relatives and friends and I want them to be happy so I'm watching the debate and uh, we'll see who wins but I have my own idea who's going to win and as much as I try to be nonpartisan on my videos I think most of you know who I want to win <laughs> I think if I grew up here, I'd just want to hand the house down. I mean, who would want to move away from here with these kind of views? They have a lot of views. The Cosmos flowers are still up. And we're going over to Cadboro Bay just for a little bit since I have some time. And it's a gorgeous day. But I have to show you those cosmos because they are my mom's favorite flowers, those purple ones. So there you go, mom. That's just for you. Here we are. Cadboro <laughs> slash gyro park. Some crows up there. Fun playground. Washrooms. And over there. It's a beach. There's a big parking lot. Hey dudes. Somebody's asking you. So, what a beautiful day. And you gotta get outside when there's a pandemic because otherwise you just get depressed. So, it's good to to get out and see what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Not sure what's going on over there. Thank you.